Hello everyone, Samuel here, providing you guys with another Let's Play video. So last time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, it was really just a Let's Playing episode, because in the pre-ed episode before that, we got the Red Gem on Slippery Climb, and uh, so we backtracked to those two other, le other levels. But anyway, uh, where are my manners? Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the United States. I'm actually, I actually have some free time, so I decided, you know, why not do a Thanksgiving video? I'm actually planning to do a Thanksgiving special today or something, you know? Um... And, uh, para todos aqueles lá no Brasil, aqui nos Estados Unidos, há os ações de graça. Cada último uh, quarta-feira, não, uh, quinta-feira do mês uh, do novembro, uh, nós temos um, um feriado, ações de graça, dando graça para tudo um, que nós temos, né? Coisa assim, é um, um feriado americano, mas muitos brasileiros uh, celebram do mesmo jeito. Anyway, um, so... Um, yeah, so last level we're just getting more gems on previous levels and backtracking. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna do lights out. Now this level I can we cannot get the gem on. Back to speaking English, by the way. Sorry. Anyway, so as you can see, this level is completely dark, and this is a change in gaming mechanic. Anyway, Aku Aku lights up the area, so whenever you get an Aku Aku mask, he will light up the area. As you can see, Aku Aku is proving himself useful. Aku Aku is one of the most useful characters in uh, Crash Bandicoot. I always feel so safe with him, you know, because like he gives me a free hit. And also, I don't feel that safe with him in uh, Crash Bandicoot One because you, it's easy to, because if you die, you have to restart the whole level and you have to worry more about falling instead of getting hit. Um, but yeah, Aku Aku's light will run out, so you have to get him again. And then if you get him again, it lights up the area. So yeah, you gotta actually be pretty quick. Because if you're not quick enough, um, his light will run out and then you can't see. And then you're pretty much, you know, screwed. Um, oh man, I didn't, I didn't see that. Anyway, I can't get the gem anyway. Um, I, I believe I can't. Because I remember I need the yellow gem to get the, to get the gem in this level. Um... Yeah, the yellow gem. I remember the rest of this level does not have any crates. If you don't have the yellow gem path, the yellow gem path actually gives you a shortcut. It's really cool. You guys will see it once I have the yellow gem. But yeah, um, so yeah, this level is pretty cool. And um, as you can see, more possums. We're in Cortex's castle right now. We're no longer in his factories. Um, we're actually infiltrating into his castles. And yeah, as you can see, very well designed. The music is very ominous sounding. But so here we go. Alright, so um, just watch out for these platforms, and the, if you these platforms will really screw you over if you run out of light. These little uh, possums actually kind of help you because they have the beady red eyes. Oh, um, watch out for the booby traps right here. See, you guys can see by that um, brick architecture the uh, um, the path that the blades take. But anyways, as you can see, there are no more crates. As you can even see, instead of crates, they have the Aku Aku masks. And I wish in the other Crash Mini Kuki, I don't know, it's kind of cool, it shows Aku Aku is a very powerful mask, um, but in the other Crash Mini Kuki games, um, instead of, uh, going with the Aku Aku mask, there's a Firefly, oh man, I completely ran out of light. Oh, and I got it anyway, <laughs> that was close, but yeah, that was a really cool level in, uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, in Crash Bandicoot. In Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3, there's other levels like this, but instead of Aku Aku, it's, um, uh, what is it? It's, instead of Aku Aku, uh, it's a Firefly. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, so Thanksgiving, um, I wonder what you all doing. Um, for, for me, I'm pretty much eating dinner with the family, um, as usual. We're not going out or anything. My mom's just cooking awesome food and stuff like that. Um, one thing I'm glad to be doing this Thanksgiving is finally now with the YouTube channel, I can finally, you know, make some sort of special. Um, and I really like that. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I'm really excited for Thanksgiving. Feel free to tell me what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving. You guys that live in other countries such as Brazil, I already told you guys, some Brazilians do. I'm um, sorry, especially Brazilians that live here in the U.S. like myself. Um... But, yeah, any of you British, I, I mean, other countries might celebrate it. I'm not sure. I'm just a stupid Brazilian-American who might not know. I don't know. I don't think Great Britain celebrates it. They might, if there are any British viewers, just tell me, please. I'm very I, I'm very interested in other cultures, so I'm, like, the, I'm not, I, I don't think, I'm not, like, very ignorant about it. Like, I like to learn about other cultures, and I think it's really awesome. Um, anyway, I'm just waiting for these bats. By the way, we're, so we're back in this type of level, um, 
Jaws of Darkness, pretty uh, ominous names, very dark levels in uh, this episode. Um, I believe I could get the gem on this one, so I have to be extra cautious to not die. Um, yeah, more of these flying platforms, very cool. Um, anyway, by the way, I wanted just to mention something in my last video. I went on sort of like a rant on like why people should stop like bashing on the prequels. No, they shouldn't stop bashing on them. Feel free to bash on them. Just like don't make fun of people who like the prequels and don't make fun of George Lucas. Like don't disrespect him because he still made the originals that you know and love. And um, to be honest, um, I would have changed a lot of things in the prequel myself. Um, I believe there's nothing here. Is there something here? Ah, oh, crap. There's nothing there. Alright, I'll just cut back. I, I Okay, guys, so yeah, now it's noted that there is indeed nothing back there. I just thought since those pillars lead to a path, but no. I think there is a place where there is the invisible blocks, like in the last level. There we go. Anyway, um, so here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm so stupid. I just remembered, um, we cannot get the gem on this level. Because I'm, I just, I think I just, no, wait, yeah, yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Because you need the blue gem anyway, but we already got the blue gem. So, yeah. Anyway, um, very good game design right here. Um, there's the wampa fruit that leads you to where you need to go. Um, oh, yeah, so this is something I wanted to mention, um, so yeah, if you if you dislike the Star Wars prequel, feel free to dislike it. Just don't like make fun of people who like it because everything has its merits. Come on, I mean, I'm a, I'm someone who personally enjoys the pre the prequels. Like my favorite Star Wars movie is uh uh Star Wars Episode Three just because of how it connects the Star Wars movies together. I'm not getting that uh, invincibility right there because it's it, this is not the area for it. Anyway, but really cool right here are this blue gem path. I just love how the gems become platforms. The idea is just really awesome to me. I'm, I'm all right, cool. I'm not, I'm not getting that. Uh, they, I think they give you that invincibility just to toy with you, because they know how hard it is to uh, platform with the invincibility. Um, but yeah, uh, and then my second favorite is Star Star Wars Episode Six because I just a perfect conclusion to the Star Wars hexology. Um, then it'll be like Episode. Uh, two, then episode four, no, then episode five, then episode four, then episode one. Episode one, I, I have to agree, I did not like it that much. I mean, it's still awesome, like, I like almost all of them equally, it just, you know, just the way I feel. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is a really long gem path, um, it's kind of strange, because usually, um, you can't get the gem, you, like, usually you need to get the colored gems after, afterwards. But no, this one, um, they they put it in a level after you already can get it. Or maybe because that level with the blue gem, you guys remember, um, it was Toxic Waste where those uh, pinstripes uh, uh, minions are like throwing the... Uh, where pinstripes minions are throwing the, uh, you know, the uh, thing. Oh, okay guys, turns out I, I, I didn't even have to go back through there because... Um, I, I just thought there might have been a crate I might have missed, but I was dead wrong. Anyway, so there's much more to this level. Obviously, the second version of any level has, um... Oh, man. Yeah, checkpoint crates on those single platforms really screw you up. Ah, oh, and let's try this again. Ah, oh, there you go. Really, a uh, kind of a stupid mistake. <sighs> But, um, aside from that, I actually feel like playing this game again, doing this Let's Play, is actually improving my skills of, uh, like, of playing Crash Bandicoot, because, oh man, I remember something. I shouldn't have spun that, uh, snake onto the TNT. Now, I say that because there's a Cortex level in this game, in this, uh, le in this, uh, level. And the fact that I, uh, by the way... Yep, they almost got me there. Alright. Um, so yeah, it, I spun that away and it, it took away the Cortex token from me. But you know what? I'll backtrack. No, no, you know what? I'm going to finish this level and get the and get the gem on it. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys me doing the Cortex level. But yeah, I'll show, I'll show you guys like what to do and what not to do at the same time. Because 
I want I don't want you guys to uh, spin uh, the snake onto the court onto the cortex because that blows that blows up his icon. And um yeah, so then I can't get it. So yeah, I'll just um I'll get the gem in this level and then I'll come back. So yeah, guys, this is my first let's play and it's coming uh, almost to an end. And I hope to do better in the next games that I do. I do feel like this has improved my video game skills. Um because I do feel like I'm much better in um, Crash Bandicoot than I ever was before. And in the other Crash Bandicoot games, which is the ones I'm more used to, I'll get even better. So, oh crap, and I'll backtrack to get the tunnel level too. I'm really, I don't know, I have a hard time playing and talking. That 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 was That's my main issue. Cause, and I just got hit. Oh man, gotta be careful. I don't know where my mind's at. Alright, got it. I think I got the gem. Let's hope. Yep, we got the gem. Cool. I mean, and as you can see, those secret paths right there uh, could really throw you off. As it could. I, I really like the gem path. Um, the gem path is really awesome. You know, the floating gems. So cool. So cool. Gems. Gem. The gems in Crash Bandicoot. I don't know. Gems like always awed me when I was little. You know, I always wanted to find a gem in real life. And also where. I, where my family, where I lived in uh, Minas, and uh, and when I lived in Brazil, I lived in a state called Minas, and there, in Minas, Minas Gerais, and Minas Gerais means, uh, it, it means uh, miners, uh, miners field. Anyway, so, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, do this level again, just so I can show you guys the Cortex level and the Tana level, alright? I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, it's right here, jump on the snake, don't spin it away, okay? Because, um, then, uh, see, then it'll blow, it'll blow away this Cortex token. Alright, I'll meet you guys back when I'm in the Cortex level. Okay, guys, so, I just decided I'll show you guys the, the Tana level. Because I'm having a really hard time, um, with the Cortex level. I actually tried it four times, it's so hard. Okay, I'm not even going to take any risks right now, because... I can't, I, I don't want to risk dying right now. There you go. Just stay away from that. You can't see where the crates are up in the sky there. But anyway, um, if you, as you know, this level's more elevated. Oh, crap! See, now even the tunnel levels are getting excruciating. I, th I don't know, is this the last tunnel level? I don't know. I don't know if it is. But anyway, guys, 85% completion. Look how far we already are, guys. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Um, all right, guys, I'll meet you back uh, in the Cortex level. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do the last Cortex level of the game, so it's really, really hard. I'm trembling right now just thinking about it. I'm so nervous. All right. All right, wait till it counts down to, like, one. So then it'll give you time to... Uh, to uh, jump on the, these crates. Alright. Oh, yes! Oh, man. Did I get it? I think I did. I, it just disappeared when it fell on me. Yes, I got it. Two out of two keys. 28 out of 32 levels and 20 out of 26 gems guys so we unlock the secret level um yeah but i think that's all the time we've had for today because 55 minutes because i've been trying to get that cortex level and once you fill a level uh bonus level you can't go back to it but guys thank you all so much for watching um please like comment and subscribe next time we'll be facing um ca uh castle ruins no, uh, no, uh, Castle Machinery. That's the la next level. Thank, please like, comment, subscribe if you have enjoyed this content. Happy Thanksgiving. Feliz Asunción de Graça. Samuel, out.